Oh, hey there. I'm Blitz. Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. It is time to get clobbered by an ice giant. Actually not, but that would hurt. Would it hurt? Does it hurt if you get flash frozen? I don't know. I'm not an expert on being dead. Anyway, we're going to try out something. And somebody, a couple people said that there's a snow globe hidden in this map somewhere. Evidently, we are supposed to find the snow globe in Farmer 1 to unlock the snow zone. Uh, I have no idea where it was. Also, some of you guys are like, eh, Blitz is pretending like he doesn't know where anything is in the map when I'm unlocking all the secret units. I, I have no idea where they are. I knew the maps, but I didn't know where they were, and it takes me like 15 minutes to fly around the maps trying to figure out where they are, and I don't know where that snow globe is, so we're just going to leave that. Now, there was another excellent thing that somebody said. I don't have any idea what level I was on. Did I beat them all? <laughs> I have no idea if I... Oh, I didn't. I totally didn't. But now that we have the beautiful, brand new, secret present elf, <laughs> the game just got a, a whole lot easier. <laughs> yes, it did. Uh, we'll just see what they bring us, what Santa brings us for Christmas. We can get, like, dark peasants and super peasants. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. The lasso guy. Oh, this probably isn't going to work. Hey, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stop killing our people. And surprise. Badger man getting clobbered by. Oh, a fire archer. <laughs> oh, you missed, you dork. That was it. That was not excellent. Oh, his head just got taken off. But I feel like this will make the campaign stupidly easy if we just sit here long enough and, and like, get really... Oh, there's a, a priest? Why are you healing? Where did... Why did the... Oh! Yes! Zeus! <laughs> Yay! Go, Zeus! This is what we needed in our life. Oh, you just killed your friend, Zeus! That was illegal. You don't want to do that ever again. See, Zeus is, like, a 2,000 money unit, I believe. Can you get away from him? Oh! Did you kill a knight? No. Yeah. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> I just really want to see what we get out of this. Now, I had the dumb idea. The dumb ideas are the best ideas in tabs. Oh, surprise. Kung Fu guy. I don't remember which unit that is. Yay. And who's that? Why is there? What kind of unit is that? And the third attempt is going to work. <laughs> We're going to get some. Oh, a raptor rider. <laughs> oh, is that? That's a vampire. Oh, and a necromancer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, this is beautiful. Except they probably are all gonna die. Come on, throw another present. Get a get a super present out here. That, that worked. Oh, just... Just a... That was not the one you wanted. <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> so I'm gonna try one more. We can have five in this one. I just kind of want them to be spread out a little bit. There, have a present in your lives. Oh, this might be really bad. Oh, it's... Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. We got a fireworks archer popped in behind. And a balloon archer over there. What's this one? That's a jester? Yeah, we got this one. We got this one for sure. Oh, no, don't clobber, my friend! No, come on, throw another present, you dork. Oh, he died. He died. Uh-oh. The jester might have it. Or not. One more time. One more time. You can just fart around at this for days trying to get it to work. Is eventually <laughs> you get a, a giant and Blackbeard <laughs> raining down cannonballs from space. Oh man, see, this is there's no chance of us losing this one. This Blackbeard is like a super powered unit, raining down cannonballs. And that giant shogun is really big too. What is this guy? Oh, it's a balloon unit. Hey, that's kind of unique. I don't remember him. Does he die? Well, we won. I just have to. I have to try it again. I don't think this will work because they're going to throw their, their skelly birds for a long distance. Unless we'll throw... Are we going to throw the presents? Okay, we dropped one present. Never mind. They all died. I don't know. I think, we, I think we've been defeated. I have a different idea. If I hide them somewhere on the map... Yeah, this might work. Because then the, then the birds are going to come over here. I think we can cheese it a little bit. We have a present guy hiding on top of the house. Oh, this, <laughs> it's not going to work. It doesn't work. Oh, he got one off. Yes. It's going to pop up. What do we get? Oh, the hay baler. Weird. That was pretty much one of the worst units <laughs> you could have summoned at that time. Here we go. The watermelon thrower, bro. Okay. Did that, did you, did that seriously, did that win? Really? Oh, he's dead. Oh, we have some sort of swashbuckling fiend over here. What else do we have? Oh, that guy's dead. Uh-huh. There's three dead ones there, and then we got this guy just hiding out. You know what I'll do? We will control him and throw out the yeet button. Ha! <laughs> Nobody will expect a shield guy. And, uh-oh, some sort of pirate. <laughs> Get him, buddy. Get him. 
Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> but we're gonna win. Ready, get set, and toss mode. Come on, dark peasant. No, bad bird. Oh, what is that? <laughs> we summoned our own bird. <laughs> I just can't help myself. I can't help. It's too much fun. Okay, you go away, and then I'll get this guy. <laughs> we'll just keep tossing things. What do we get? What do we get? Um, buddy? Whoa! Hey! <laughs> He's back. Why are you stuck in the ground, you dork? Ha! Oh, I forgot there were halflings hitting in this map. Um, there's no chance we're gonna lose this. Especially with another toss! What do we get this time? Come on, something cool pop out. Aw, we didn't get to see it. So I have the idea that we'll go into here and we're gonna create a brand new unit. Now the weapon, a lot of comments about the weapons that somewhere in here there's a chest. Maybe, it's a rocket launcher, that sounds cool. Or maybe the present is in here. Yes, throne presents. Oh, isn't it pretty? <laughs> we're gonna make it a two-handed so it looks better. Although if I do one-handed, could I give them two presents? Oh no. Nope, we're not doing two presents. That's against the rules. We're making a two-handed present though. And can I change the colors? No, but can I change the stats? The projectile, wait, hold on. The projectile is chest? <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, scratch this idea. We don't we don't need that. M I N I gun. Yes. Uh-huh. That's good. We'll make that a two-handed weapon too. Perfect. And if I click on that and I go to stats and then we go here and hit chest. Oh, oh, this is stupid. I love stupid. And we need to make it Santa colors. We're going to be bringing you some holiday joy. Oh, yes, we are. Something very satisfying about this image. <laughs> Just imagine Santa coming down your chimney on Christmas Eve. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm a tad bit concerned that this is going to, like, be the ultimate in leg. Oh, it's only, 200, it's only 260 points. Okay, okay, this will be fun. Okay, we'll just do some shield bearers and some squires. Yeah, that'll be fun. Ready? Ghost Christmas Santa. Oh! <laughs> Bringing you presents for day. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, Santa! Oh no! <laughs> oh, it's still working. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. We did it. We did it. I, I want Santa like this in real life. Yeah, coming down the chimney, bringing in presents of joy. Okay, that was... Stop. Stop. We won, I think. Maybe. Um, <laughs> We did it. Oh, how do we get you here? Okay, let's try it one more time. Just don't be so leggy this time, Santa. Don't be so leggy. And pause it. Oh, those chests are beautiful. <laughs> we got cannons. We got a musketeer. What else did we get? Oh, there's the Monkey King <laughs> spotting in a tank right on the enemy lines. Oh, Santa, never change. I want a tank for Christmas. That'd be fun. Did we do it? Did we win, Santa? I, I don't know how. <laughs> Our Raptor Rider, Cactus Man. Oh, that is beautiful. There's the Reaper right there. Wow. <laughs> a couple Blackbeards. Oh, this super peasant too. <laughs> For 260 points, I think I have found the champion. I like how it says, technically challenging levels. Knights and priests versus a little bit of Christmas joy. And... <laughs> the horses. Oh, good. We threw some in the water. Yeah, that... Whoa. What was that? What is this? Some sort of purple slime coming out. Oh, it's the witches. Yeah, they cloned themselves, you guys said. Wow. Wow. For 260 points, you cannot go wrong with a little minigun Santa. Yeah, not even against... The, maybe the wheelbarrows might win. Nope, never mind. They totally missed. <laughs> oh! Da Vinci tank. Um, if we crash the game, does that consider it a win or a loss? Evidently, it's a win. Look, there's a cute little mammoth in the cave. Be a shame if someone were to unleash Christmas on his face. And do it. <laughs> Surprise! Get a Nobody expects a catapult jumping out at you. Wow. Now, for my second idea, we take Minigun Santa and we edit him. Now, I know it's hilarious. It's a little bit overpowered. But if we take this weapon, we remove the minigun, and then we give him the present chest. And inside the present chest is obviously the regular chest. We can create a tournament. A tournament of champions. Kind of feel guilty about having Santa's battle Santa, though. So if I remove the beard, he doesn't look like Santa anymore. I need to give him something else. Like a horse head? No. No, that's just ridiculous. I don't know. I think that's fine. 
It looks good, just a wobbler with a chest. And we'll change his color to be not red, but orange and yellow and green, blue. Of course, crazy eyed purple, pink and beautiful chocolate. So I wanna run this tournament style, right? Well, we'll have one person versus the other and then we'll run a bracket and it'll be good. So let's begin this battle. We have orange versus red and the battle of Christmas championships. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm a little bit scared. Oh, oh, the, the chests hit each other. <laughs> it's kinda, it's Pokemon. Oh, we got a priest. That was a bad choice for the blue side. Oh, and followed by a king. <laughs> I think orange has got this one in the bag. Next up, we have yellow and green. For the battle to begin, we must count to 17 backwards by fours. I don't even know what that means, but let's do it. <laughs> Ready, get set, and come on. Come oh, there we go. Ah, I feel like the Zoro dude, the fencer man, is going to do better. Oh, he got feared. He got feared away. Oh, no. What a dirty move. What a dirty move. Oh, this is a good battle. Oh, oh, he got clobbered. Oh, but another chest came down. And then we got a spear thrower. Oh, the spear thrower is down. The spear thrower is down. What a turn of events. It looks like yellow came from behind to win that battle. That was actually a really good battle. Pretty impressed with it. Okay, we got blue and purple. I don't really like this because there's such a close color. I should have changed it. What? Their hats just changed and their shoes. Uh, that's kind of illegal. <laughs> okay, you ready? You ready? What comes out of the chest? And genie time. Uh oh, come on. I just just gotta pause it just for a minute for the anticipation. No. Okay. Oh, 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 what is this? I don't know what that one is. He's dead. Whatever he was. Oh, the the standard squire from the purple side. Wait, what? His hat changed again? This is weird having blue on the red side, but purple wins. And for the final of the first round, we have pink and chocolate. I'm a big fan of chocolate, so I'm gonna go for chocolate to win this. Yes! Okay, ready, get set, and come on. Oh, okay. That's big. A knight, a knight. Let's see. Okay, come on. Come on, pink, you gotta get, you gotta get your, your dude out. You chose, you chose just a swashbuckler, dude, to fight a knight. It's uh, not, a, not a great idea, but I'm happy because I like chocolate. So round one is complete. The orange one with the king, the yellow beat green using a fencer. The purple used a squire and chocolate had the knight. Very interesting. So let's get round two going. We have orange versus yellow. I am interested to see what you bring out. Why is your hat changing colors? That's weird. <laughs> so is orange gonna bring out the king? Will yellow try a fencer again? Let's see what happens. Oh, a, a clam. You, you brought out, you brought out a clam. You seriously used a clam. Why did you, wait, what? The clam won. Okay, that was a strange choice, yellow. Oh, oh. Okay, oh, oh, this is a spear thrower versus a, ooh, what is that guy called? Oh, he's gotta kill the other one. Oh no, <laughs> the present elf is, is stuck with fear. Uh, oh, dirty, what is that one, a Spartan? Oh yeah, Spartan's a pretty big one, orange wins. And now my friends, the battle that we've all been waiting for, purple versus chocolate. Will the squire and the knight come back out to play or will we have something stupid like a clam jump out of the chest? Oh, a gunslinger, I think. Oh, and a pitchfork dude. Okay, oh, down he goes. Wait, the chests are still derping out. The farmer, the farmer for the win. Interesting choice, purple. And here we go, the battle for the ages. Purple versus orange on who the best present thrower can be. We have orange in this corner who has summoned things like the king and the Spartan. Very good units defeating the enemy easily. Versus purple over here, who uh, summoned a squire and a farmer. 
to somehow win. We're gonna do this best of three elimination and let the battle begin. Who's gonna do it? The first chest has popped out and ta oh, the new giant. Oh, versus the candle thrower. Interesting choice. I know it has in the freeze maneuver and it seemed to have worked. Oh, we got the fear. The mass fear has popped up. If they stay alive long enough, look at the, the, the skelly giant laying on the ground. Another chest might be thrown. Another chest is here and come on. There it is. The chest has been thrown. A ballista. Weird. Oh, the point blank ballista throw. Interesting strategy. I would probably not have picked that. And then a fire archer, skeletal archer. Interesting. Ah, oh, the ballista is down without throwing a shot. Oh, and a miss. Oh, oh, the giant reigns supreme. He's, oh, wait, he didn't die. What is this? A head butter? <laughs> really? A head butter. Okay. Oh, nice throw with that chest. It pops out and we have that unit, which instantly died. I, I don't know which unit that is. Taekwondo maybe? If this guy can dodge it until he gets another chest, it might be, it might be a victory. <laughs> nope, he totally didn't dodge that one. Okay, well, round one goes to orange. Round two. I feel like round two is gonna be a short one. Okay, the chest man. Okay, the safe one. Um, wow. You guys are picking really strange things right now. You don't care to live? We'll just do another throw. You do your other throw. Do the throw. Okay, good. Oh, it's close. That thing again. I need to figure out what that unit is. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. It's not working. Maybe it is. Is this orange? Orange winning again. Oh, man. I think that means our, we have our champion. Orange unit with the red flashing hat. I need to do it a third time just to see if purple is competent. He did summon the farmer and the squire in the first two rounds of battle. Maybe he can pull out something like a super peasant. And if he does... Well, he's going to die by a clam. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> he's, he actually won. We have to do best out of five now. Let's see. This is really fun. I like this a lot. And ta-da. Ooh, the marksman. Okay, and a vampire. Good choices here. Good choices, purple. Are we at two to two? I believe we're at two to two. Do it, do it. The final battle. And you know what? Let's just pause. Because if you like this, please hit the like button. Thank you. And continue the battle. Ready, get set. Ooh, the Sarissa. Is that a Sarissa? Versus <laughs> that wheelbarrow dragon. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to like purple a little bit better. Maybe. Ooh, oh, that was a dirty hit. The wheelbarrow man is so strong, and he wins purple with the come from behind victory. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for today's video of tabs. I hope you've enjoyed our exciting adventure we had today. We'll see you next time. Bye.